Now then, let us consider the Denver Nuggets. This is a team that has gotten recognition to be within playoff talks for basically every single season, started from the 2018-19 NBA season in particular. This team was able to draft former MVP Nikola Jokic with the 41st pick of the second round during the 2014 NBA draft, and he was able to put the league on notice with his immaculate ability to be a big man consisting with point guard vision, able to make his team better with his passing ability and he's able to score in high volumes and then later on this team was able to draft Jamal Murray within the 2016 NBA draft with the seventh overall pick and he quickly became the team's second option behind Jokic for years these two players showed many signs of promise that they were going to be great future players within the overall league and they were recognized as the team's overall future for success but their draft success Success during the time didn't stop with just Jamal Murray and Nikola Jokic. Now, within the 2018 NBA draft, the Nuggets were able to get their hands on Michael Porter Jr. with the 14th overall pick, which to many seemed like a steal, since this is a player that was projected to be a top player within the overall draft class. But his draft projection was ultimately pushed back due to him being forced to miss his entire rookie season due to a lingering back injury. Injury. Having a player like Michael Porter Jr. projected to be amongst the great young talents within this draft led for the Nuggets chances of potentially winning a title soon slowly become a consideration within the media and NBA fans in general. However, let us fast forward towards NBA events as of current. Insider Adrian Wojnarowski, Woj, one player that we know won't be playing in tonight's game is Michael Porter Jr. You reported earlier today that he's going to undergo a surgical procedure this Wednesday. What else can you tell us about this? Uh, Malik, I, I talked to his agent, Mark Bartlestein, today with Priority Sports, and uh, he said that they're going to determine that timeline on a return for Porter Jr. after the surgery. There, there's still scenarios where Michael Porter Jr. could play again this season. Certainly, they're going to be cautious. He has had back issues before. He had surgery prior to uh, his rookie year in the NBA. It's what caused him to drop all the way to Denver. Uh, and this is a Denver organization that just over a year ago, you would, I, many would have agreed, this is the best young core in the league. And, and since Michael Porter arrived in 2019, you know, Matt Williams, our uh, stats and info guru, tells us he's only play, they've only played 100 games with Jokic, Jamal Murray, and Michael Porter Jr. They've won 62 of those, and that includes the playoffs. Uh, but they're all still young, and there is still optimism that the, you know, the Nuggets could get Jamal Murray back from that ACL this year. Mm. Uh, and then they'll wait and see after Wednesday surgery about what it looks like with Michael Porter Jr., who of course signed uh, a five-year max extension in the offseason. That new deal starts next season, Malika. So now, as you may know, the Denver Nuggets seem to be amongst the many victims within the overall league that has caught the injury bug as all three players regarding Nikola Jokic, Jamal Murray, and Michael Porter Jr. were sidelined due to injury purposes at one point. However, the issue with this instance mainly starts with Michael Porter Jr. Jamal Murray and Nikola Jokic are both to be expected to be playing on the same floor together as the season goes on, but you can't say the same for Michael Porter Jr. As you may know, Michael Porter Jr. was forced to get surgery on his back, causing him to potentially miss the rest of the 2022 NBA season, which was the same exact reason as to why he missed his rookie season. And what's worse is the fact that he was a player that was granted with a max extension of $172 million for five years before this season even began. Considering these many standpoints to many, this has become a huge issue and great concern for the Denver Nuggets franchise since Michael Porter Jr. is getting paid this much money for him to miss the rest of the season and we don't even know if his production within the basketball court will be worth the money he is being paid when he recovers from his injury. Now the question to many is did the Denver Nuggets give the max extension to Michael Porter Jr. too early? You can provide a synergy towards this situation with John Wall. John Wall was a player 
player in this league once upon a time considered a top point guard in the NBA which is respectable since he was actually providing the Washington Wizards with all-star production during the time and then the Wizards provided Wall with a huge contract and then he suffered many injuries that forced him to miss so much time and this led for huge considerations whether if John Wall will even be the same player he once was pre-injury which we know now he isn't so this leads towards the instance of John Wall being practically untradeable because he is making so much money for his production to not be on par with the amount of money he is being paid hence why the Houston Rockets still haven't found a trade destination for him as of yet. For this circumstance in particular I highly doubt that the same exact occurrence will happen to Michael Porter Jr. Now first of all I feel like it is a stretch to believe that the Denver Nuggets will even consider trading Michael Porter Jr. in the first place due to his young age and the amount of potential he has shown in previous seasons take a look at his production within the two seasons he has played before this season now his rookie season showcased him being just an average role player however his second season showcased his true potential in full display he went from averaging nine points per game along with one assist per game and five rebounds per game to averaging 19 points per game with one assist per game and seven rebounds per game and his efficiency from both the field and the three-point line was also outstanding so it is completely crystal clear that michael porter jr was going to break out into potentially an all-star caliber player as the years go on and then boom we have this season this season it is completely apparent that he regressed extraordinarily based on the short sample size of games he's played this season thus far and you can argue that his overall regression is due to the early symptoms he could have been suffering from his now apparent back injury it is hard to say if the Denver Nuggets decision to give Michael Porter Jr. a max extension was the wrong decision because there was no way to predict that he would have suffered this injury in the first plays considering his improvement from last season it is almost a guarantee to consider that he would have taken an even further step towards an all-star caliber player potential and the money he was granted would have been justified but worst case scenario is the instance of michael porter jr not being able to become the player that he was expected to become due to injuries holding him back in general and then the nuggets would be a part of the situation where they may consider trading him in the future which i highly doubt and they can't find any great deals to trade him due to him making so much money now the main reason as to why i don't think the Nuggets would trade michael porter jr is because i really don't see a circumstance of him not being the same player he was last season due to his young age and the intangibles he has shown already however it is it's still a consideration that shouldn't be hidden under the rug since this is a situation that has happened numerous amount of times to players in the past which like i mentioned John Wall earlier but it is completely clear now that the Denver Nuggets will most likely not be able to win a title due to the instance of Michael Porter Jr. being injured and his role was very essential for the team's success last season but their chances of winning a title in years to come still I wouldn't say isn't out the window as of yet but other than that that will conclude today's video what do you guys think do you think the Denver Nuggets may have paid Michael Porter Jr. this much money too early or do you think it was the right decision to make let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below make sure you guys like this video and subscribe to the channel i would greatly appreciate it i'm out peace